Act of Independence to India. There is Indi India was not an independent country at all. And they said that uh, uh, in that manifesto, they call it Dalit Manifesto, the pain and suffering of the African Americans is the pain and suffering of ours. This was their declaration. And they identified themselves with this. And then they said that, uh, you know, uh, the, one of the most important slogans, black is beautiful. And they said that this is the slogan of ours. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then <coughs> they, they said that uh, we are here to consolidate Dalit power, similar to the concept of black power mm -hmm. conceived by the, the Black Panthers uh, movement and the party in years. And then they defined Dalit power as just, just power that is going to be achieved through their movement, not by only untouchables. And this vision of these people is very large because and it's a very great historical, uh, historic moment in India. They proposed an alliance of people. The, 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 the Dalit power in India is not just the power that is to be achieved by Dalit people, 19% of the Dalits, but they had proposed an alliance of forces. Adivasis was the first category, 10% of Adivasis. Adivasis and Dalits are the most marginalized and the lowest rung of the social order. Uh, so they have uh, taken Adivasis as uh, the, ma the main ally in that struggle. Then, very interestingly, and uh, they said that all women, irrespective of their caste, including Brahmin women, they are our ally. You know, uh, the reason for that is uh, uh, the, the Brahminical Hindu religion and the scriptures, including Manuskriti, the laws of Manu, they have give, treated women of all castes, including upper castes and classes, and, and the people of uh, men and women of all other castes, equally. And they said that, uh, you know, the one point that you can see is that all the lower castes are untouchables, Adivasis, and women of anyone, they don't have even right to pray for God. Mm. Because women cannot uh, achieve salvation, cannot uh, achieve, uh, I mean, to, to go to God. That, is, that was the concept. And women of any caste, particularly Brahminical caste, they, have, they can pray in particular places designated to them, not for themselves, but for their husbands or fathers. This was the law. And uh, so they said that women of any caste, irrespective of the caste, are our allies. And then the last category they said that Muslims of this country are our allies. And this is the basic alliance which they propose is still valid even today in the oppressed people's struggles against uh, oppression and for freedom. Uh, that is the kind of vision they got. And they then said, uh, uh, the Adivasis at that time, in the previous five years, 72, they raised the arm, armed rebellions in different parts of the country, starting in a village called Naxalbari in West Bengal. You can see the West Bengal, you can uh, so, they proposed and declared that they are part and parcel of this, uh, they are part and parcel of this Adivasi Naxalbari struggle. It's a, a revolutionary struggle. So, uh, this, the alliances is clear, the power that they want to achieve is clear, and for the first time in the history of India, Dalit self-assertion, because for 5,000 years, there is no individuality to Dalits. They cannot speak asserting themselves or even 
give a reply to the Brahmin, Brahmins. They were not supposed to give any reply. When a Brahmin orders something, they have to allow, uh, follow. And they, they, are not touch, uh, they, are, they, they are not touchable by the Brahminical caste. So they have to stay outside. And they cannot read and write. This was, it, was, uh, uh, it was prescribed. They should not. If anybody try to read and write, uh, they cut their tongues and put lead in their, uh, hot lead in their ears. Even if a Brahmin is reading and a Dalit by mistake hears from a distance, uh, hot lead was put in their ears. That kind of a cruel and brutal society we have been having for the last thousand years is still continuing. The social reality out there in India